Rebecca Morrell with that film. Now, the question of whether it's ever safe to film a sex act on your phone may have to wait for another day. Tonight, we deal with a rather more pressing issue of what exactly happened to privately stored data of several Hollywood A-listers. Naked pictures of the actress Jennifer Lawrence, Kim Kardashian, Rihanna, to name but three, were circulated online. Pictures widely believed to have been hacked from their iCloud accounts. The Lawrence campus described it as a flagrant violation of privacy. So how much do we really know about the cloud and how it works? Technology writer and broadcaster Kate Bevan is here. And the cloud sort of descended, if you like, upon us. Everyone signed up yep. to it yep. without quite getting what it does, Kate. I don't think a lot of people do, actually. What it does is it's data centres that store your data so you can access it when you're on the move. Um, and that's lots and lots of different companies doing it. You've got Facebook, you've got Google, you've got Microsoft, you've got Yahoo, you've got Dropbox. And then absolutely hosts of other smaller companies and you have no idea how they're looking after your data what their security policies are you know who's looking after your data uh, where, where it is, is it? is it is it in a server i mean is it is it in a space or? it's in servers on, on in server farms which could be anywhere in the world i mean there are implications there for um who, who has access to your data from a legal point of view if it's in the, within the us you know the us could have access to it like through the nsa mm. there are all sorts of issues with it and who owns it then does does it is it still mine? Well, that's a good question. I mean, yes, it is yours, but you're giving it to your cloud provider in return for a service, which is usually free. So you're giving it to Google in return for email, for maps, for everything, and they use it in return to serve you adverts. So it, it's a transaction, except that the, transaction, the power of the transaction is mostly with the cloud provider rather than with you. What's your sense of, of what might have happened here? I mean, you know, we think it was iCloud. Apple has said it can't confirm anything at this point, but what, what, what's your sense of it? Apple will never confirm anything anyway. Um, my sense is that it's probably compromised passwords rather than an actual hack, a hack whereby somebody goes in and tries to break into a database and steal things like passwords, which is what's happened to Sony, which is what's happened to Adobe. So what's the difference between a... A, 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 an actual hack and a compromised password. An actual hack is where attackers will go and try and break into servers, which, as I say, what happened with Adobe and Sony, and has happened with lots of other big companies. Basically, there are two types of company. Companies have had a, a and you're saying that wouldn't yeah. target celebrities; it would target. No, it just target. Yeah. It would try and get passwords, for example. This, I think, is more specifically uh, targeted at them. The celebrities have filled in a, a form, a fake form online that's harvested their, their passwords, or perhaps an assistant has had access to their passwords, or alternatively they've just used weak passwords and they've used them everywhere and somebody's broken it. It's not very difficult to crack passwords if you try hard enough. Do, do, you, do you cloud or do you think more people are, are, are not putting their stuff in cloud or is it nothing to do with the cloud? Is that a, a, a It is herring? to do with the cloud because if you keep your data in your house then and it's not online, then only you have access to it. However, we like our stuff to be available to us online, so we put stuff in the cloud. So the I iCloud, for example, is a syncing service. When you take a picture on your iPhone, unless you turn it off, it automatically syncs to your account yeah. in the cloud so that it's available on your other Apple devices. And that's a really nice service. People love that. And they don't think about the implications of where that data is, what's happening to that data, who's holding it, how, how anybody can access it. And we all do it. Do you think that the companies have any responsibility to protect? Of course they do and they're going to have more responsibility. There's a big change coming to how the EU regulates um, data protection in the next couple of years and one of the things that's going to come in, if a company is found to be at fault for a breach, then they're going to be liable for fines of up to five times their global turnover really? so that's really going to focus some minds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. Kate Bevan, thank you very much.